What up, everybody? This is JP from Off The Ball Network, giving you a recap of the NFL. Oh, my goodness gracious. Week 5 is in the books right here, and, man, I cannot tell you. Thank you so much for the promotion sponsored to you by Off The Ball Network email. If you want to be racist or say something nasty like John Gruden, put it on Off The Ball Network email, and then you go ahead and put it out, and you get yourself fired, or you can resign your job off the ball network email you just have to make one bad decision and the rest is history so before we get into it we make sure you subscribe down below to off the ball network for all your sports needs check out our social media platforms and follow us and check us out at offtheballnetwork.com for all your sports needs articles podcasts anything off the ball network you have breaking news everything is off the ball network.com Shout out to the guys from Off The Ball Network doing their thing and everything. And let's go ahead and get into the NFL Week 5 recap here. Where we saw a Thursday night game between a division rival, the Rams versus the Seahawks. We saw that Wilson Wilson injured his finger really bad. It looks very nasty when you look at the video and the pictures too. So he's out a couple weeks after that injury. But the Rams beat the Seahawks 26-17. to Leading the way is Matthew Stafford, 25 out of 37, 365 yards and a touchdown. Darrell Henderson with 82 yards and a touchdown with 17 carries. Robert Woods with 12 receptions, 150 yards. And you think the Seahawks are in trouble? Man, oh man. Geno Smith as the backup is going to come and save the Seahawks organization while Russell Wilson is out. Yuck. Yuck. Just yuck. 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 Ugh. Ugh. Mm, ugh. That name just, ugh. Oof. Mmm. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But the Rams defeat the Seahawks 26 to 17. And then we have the Jets versus the Falcons, where we saw, you know, two, one, and three teams. Which one will prevail, prevail right here in this great matchup? Where we saw the Falcons won 27 to 20, uh, thanks to Matt Ryan's 33 out of 45, 342 yards and two touchdowns, and Kyle Pitt, Pitts 119 yards and a touchdown. I mean, they faced, you know, the, they, the Jets. They only scored three points in the first half. What you doing, Jets? What you doing? You got to fight. So it was 20 to 3, and then it, the Falcons kind of let the Jets come in back now, but still wasn't enough for the Jets to overcome the Falcons, though. So 27 to 20, Falcons. This one was a really good game. Joe Burrow versus Aaron Rodgers. Packers versus Bengals. Well, we was like, is the Bengals for real? If they beat the Packers... Are they a great team? Or will the Packers just put them in the mouth and all that? And we saw that. We saw Joe Boyle play really well. He played really well. Um, Pearls to him. Hopefully he is okay. I know he wasn't able to speak and everything after, you know, the game and all that. Something was really wrong with him. He was feeling a little woozy. But uh, prayers to Joe Boyle. Hopefully, you know, recovers very quickly. Um, Crosby, you know. He freaking, you know, hits a 49 out of three misses and the Packers top the Bengals in overtime. Thank you, Crosby. Stop missing field goals. Stop missing field goals. But Aaron Rodgers, 27 out of 39, 344 yards, two touchdowns. Aaron Jones didn't have a touchdown, but he had 14 carries, 103 yards. Devontae Adams has been playing really well the past couple weeks after I kind of whipped the blitz shreds after missing, you know, it was like, where's Devontae Adams at? Where's his talent at? But 11 receptions, 206 yards, and a touchdown. The Parkers beat the Bengals in overtime, 25 to 22. Let's go ahead and go to my Vikings. Well, we barely, I mean, just barely beat the Lions. Man, we suck. Goodness gracious. We survived. But, you know, Joseph, you know, hit the field goal at the final. So thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you so much. But uh, Cousins, 25 out of 34, 275 yards, and a touchdown. Oh, man. Um, you know, Alexander Matt is in 25 carries, 130 yards. We didn't even have Davin Cook playing. Um, and then Justin Jefferson, seven receptions, 124 yards. I mean, whoo. I mean, whoo. Man, we got to play a lot better, right? Because we got to play a lot better, especially if we want to be, you know, contending in the NFC North. Well, the Packers is pretty much going to take it this year. Oh, goodness gracious. Then we saw the Broncos and the Steelers where we whipped Big Ben to swears last week. Where we said after last week's game, it was like Big Ben needs to scale on the bench. So, 
We saw either Mason Rudolph or Dwayne Haskins. Oh, trade to get Nick Foles. He is sitting in Chicago. Trade to get Nick Foles. Something has to give with the Pittsburgh Steelers because it's not looking good right now. Big Bay ain't playing. He ain't playing great. And they're facing a good Denver defense. A great Denver defense. But Big Ben kind of just said, okay, I'm going to give y'all old Big Ben. Big Ben played really well. Played really, really well. Threw two touchdowns and had some deep throws. Chase Claypool played excellent. Five receptions, 130 yards in the touchdown. Najee Harris having a really good rookie season. 23 carries, 122 yards in the touchdown. You know, I mean... They, I mean, it was pretty much Broncos was losing 17 to six, and then they count, and then they had a really good fourth quarter, scoring 13 points. But yeah, the Steelers survived 27 to 19. Big Ben finally playing and winning the game here. So congratulations, Dolphins versus the Buccaneers. I don't even have to say, but other than Tom Brady threw five touchdowns, five touchdowns. I mean, Antonio Brown played really well. We haven't healed no distractions. Where he ain't taking pictures of his feet. Thank goodness gracious, because it was horrible. Um, but he got seven receptions, 124 yards, and two touchdowns. I mean, he he's not the top playmaker, but on that team, he is a dangerous weapon with him and Mike Evans. And Leonard Fournette, 12 carries, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Tom Brady is just playing like he is a young, in prime Tom Brady. I mean, five touchdowns, 30 out of 41, 411 yards. What else to say about this man? The greatest quarterback of all time right there. So, I mean, goodness gracious. 45 to 17 over the Dolphins. Then we see the Saints versus the Washington football team. Where I thought the Washington fo football team would have a chance against the Saints. But the Saints, I mean, something's going on. It's just like, just, they click one game and they don't click the next game. It's just like they play inconsistent. Winston has four touchdowns, 279 yards, 15 out of 30. Alvin Kamoa, 16 carries, 71 yards and a touchdown. Um... Callaway, 85 yards, two touchdowns, four receptions. I mean, Winston's playing really well. They're playing, he's playing really well. And Tyler Hennekin played all right. But, I mean, something's going on with the football team because they're really disappointing because everybody, some people had them coming out of the NFC East ahead of the Cowboys. And I, I just don't know what it is. I, I just don't know what it is. Like, it's just like a bad smell in Washington or just the curse of the Washington football team for, you know, used to be called this then called the football team I, I just don't I just don't understand I just don't understand though. I just don't understand but the Saints defeated the Washington football team 33 to 22 but go ahead and go into the Eagles and the Panthers oh my goodness gracious the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Panthers 21 to 18 freaking Sam Darnold had an awful game this is the first time in this season that Sam Darnold had an awful game because we've been praising him each and every week that he's been playing really good and now he had an awful game oh my goodness Jalen Hurts didn't play really well either he didn't play really well either only 198 yards and one interception Devontae Smith 70 receptions 77 yards but Jalen Hurts ran for two touchdowns though he was he ran for two touchdowns and you know, the Eagles made a really good comeback because the Panthers were up and the Eagles made that comeback and it was all she wrote, though. Then we got the Titans versus the Jaguars. Maybe the luck of Urban Miles strip dancing with the goal will have the Jaguars win at least. And it wasn't really any close, though. Derrick Henry scored three touchdowns. The Titans and the Jazz to the 20th straight loss. Urban Miles. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you at USC. Just go ahead and go to USC now. Trevor Lawrence has been playing. He played well the past couple weeks. I, I can't lie. 23 out of 33, uh, 273 yards and a touchdown. But, I mean, Ryan and Tannehill played well. I mean, they could not stop Derrick Henry. I mean, nobody can really stop Derrick Henry when he's on. But the Titans defeated the Jaguars 37-19. They were coming off that loss last week. They was like, nah. Nah, we're going we're gonna to take it out on somebody. We ain't losing to the Jaguars. We're not going to let them have their first victory over us. So, <laughs> so and it was a homecoming moment for Derrick Henry, too, as well. So, ooh. Then we got the Patriots versus the Texans, where we saw the Patriots won 25-22. to Davis Mills played really well, 21 out of 29, 312 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Damian Harris, 58 yards, a touchdown, 14 carries. Uh, pretty much, you know, the Patriots used the field goal to get the 25-22 victory, just like a young Tom Brady when he was just managing the game, and then you just bring in Van Terry and let him kick the field goals and take them home. So, 
And this one right here, I feel like the Raiders didn't even play football Sunday just because of all the distractions and all the emails. Maybe John Gruner emailed him was like, don't play today, don't play today. Or Derek Carr or somebody was like, don't play today, don't play today. I mean, pretty much just gave John Gruden a wake-up call after them emails. 20-9 to to the Chicago Bills. Justin Fields threw a first touchdown pass. Congratulations to Justin Fields, though. Um, but, yeah, Derek Carr didn't play well. 206 yards, one interception. Like I said, their heart was not in the right place. They was not in the right place because of the emails. Now, Gruden resigned and all that. He and Kyrie Irving can enjoy the nail salon, the beach, whatever they want to go to. At the end of the day, they're going to enjoy each other because they're both cancels to their own team. That, that's why I said it. John Gruden and Kyrie Irving are cancels. I mean cancels. Nobody should even pick them up one bit. Not even one bit. I applause the Brooklyn Nets. That's another freaking storyline and podcast for another show. But I praise to the Brooklyn Nets for doing what they need to do to shut Kyrie Irving up. And, you know, like I said, John Green left on his own power and all that. Freaking disappointing. He ain't going to have a job again in NFL ESPN and all that. He can go and go to McDonald's and sell fries and everything and tell him how much your son could play quarterback right there while ordering a Happy Meal. That's what he's going to be walking out. Then we have the Browns versus the Chargers, which is a classic one right here where we saw the Browns were up, and then Justin Hobo just played unbelievable. 398 yards, 4 touchdowns, 26 out of 43. Justin Hobo kind of reminds you of a classic Dan Faust with the Chargers when he was just like throwing that football. I mean, was just an unbelievable quarterback. Uh, Eckler played really well. I mean, what else could you say, man? What else could you say? The Chargers got a team. They got a team. They always been the sleeper before the season start because of the weapons they have. And Justin Hubbard is still just, like, you criticize him in college. But some people play better in the pro pros than they do in college. And Justin Hubbard is just showing that. He's probably the MVP right now. He is running away the MVP. Him and Kyle Murray are just neck to neck there. But Mike Williams... Eight receptions, 165 yards, two touchdowns. Clips him, baby. Clips in him. So, yeah. Um, you know, but Baker played good. Play, Baker played good. So, I'll give Baker credit. Even though he's still not the answer at quarterback for the Browns. But he played He played well. He got 300, over 300 yards. He played well. He played well. So, I'll give him that. The thing I just don't like about Baker is that you got OBJ. And you can't throw the LBJ who is like one of the best receivers and he's doing everything he can to get open and you decide for your own ego and stuff to not throw it to him and stuff. There was a couple plays where OBJ was wide open and it was like, what the hell are you doing, Baker? What the hell are you doing? You ain't going to prove yourself a point. You ain't proving yourself to get that extension. So you need to change something right now. You need to take that ego aside. Give it to OBJ. Come on now. So we see the Giants and the Cowboys. The, I mean, someone was like, it's going to be a close game in this division. I said, Cowboys are going to win by two touchdowns. And, man, they won more than two touchdowns. 44-20, to 20, Dak Prescott is an elite quarterback. I said it. Dak Prescott is an elite quarterback. 22 out of 32, 32 yards, three touchdowns. Zika Elliott, 24 carries, 110 yards and a touchdown. I mean, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. I mean... I love the uh, combination of Paulo and Elliott right there in the backfield. The offensive line's good. You got the receivers. Cowboys is winning the NFC East easily. Easily. Because, I mean, it's... it's the, the, the rest of it's awful except for the Cowboys. But 44-20, to uh, prayers to Saquon Barkley with his ankle. It looks really bad and swollen, so prayers to him. Hopefully he's not out for a period. Then we see the 49ers and the Cardinals. Well, the Cowboy didn't really play well. 22 out of 31, 239 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Trey Lance didn't really play well either. Um, he was out. He was, You didn't have Jimmy Garoppolo. But, yeah, I mean, the Cardinals barely won, 17 to 10. I'm talking about two good defenses. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, six receptions, 87 yards, and a touchdown. Um, but, yeah, um, but that was an impressive touchdown, though, by the way, by DeAndre Hopkins. He must... Josh Norman for that impressive touchdown. Two South Carolina guys. Two South Carolina guys. It was so exciting to watch and see, though. 49ers couldn't score anything in the first half. And they scored 10 points finally in the 
second half, but it still wasn't enough to beat the Cardinals. The Cardinals are still undefeated. Then we have the night. This is the matchup that everybody wanted to see Sunday night. The Bills versus the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes versus Josh Allen. Is Patrick Mahomes going to go ahead and just impress himself, you know, by having another great performance? Is Josh Allen going to prove a point? This is the AFC Championship preview here that everybody got. I had Cleveland in there, but I don't know now because, like I said, Baker's not the answer for Cleveland. But... This is a possible AFC championship. The Bills destroyed the Chiefs. Let me say that one, one more time. The Bills destroyed the Chiefs. 38 to 20. They prove a point. Josh Allen, 15 out of 26, 315 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, he was he was just throwing it. I mean, he was killing. He was killing. That defense was killing uh the Chiefs offense. But the Chiefs' defense is so bad that you could put up 37 points. And you could be the Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lowe's could throw 10 touchdowns to that. To win this defense of the Chiefs, they have to do something. They're not playing good football. And I'm not blaming the offense one bit. The defense needs to freaking step up. You can't have the offense over. You, the offense can't do this much. They can't do this much. The defense really have to. Tyron Matthew, where are you at? Where are you at? Come on. Come on now. And uh, Patrick Mahomes threw an interception to Hyde. Hyde took that interception to the house. Take it to the house. So the Bills is just looking like, well, the best team in the AFC here. So it's, it's a contender. It's going to be competition in the AFC. I'll say that for sure. Then we had last night's game between the Colts and the Ravens. Well, the Colts were up. I mean up. Like the Ravens couldn't do anything. And then the fourth quarter – Lamar Jackson just became a video go cheat code. I mean, he played unbelievable. They scored 22 unanswered points just in the fourth quarter and overtime. Lamar Jackson had himself a game. 37 out of 43, 442 yards, four touchdowns, 14 carries, 62 yards. Mark Andrews could not be stopped. 11 receptions, 147 yards, two touchdowns. Let me read you the stats from... Lamar Jackson from last night. Fourth quarterback in NFL history to complete 85% of passes in a 400-yard game. And y'all criticize him, and even I criticize him, that he can't throw the football. He proved it last night. Against a good Colts defense with the linemen and linebackers. Highest completion in a 40-pass game in NFL history. 86%. Unbelievable. Franchise record for the Ravens. 442 passing yards. Overcame the largest deficit of his NFL career. They were down 19 and overcame and won. Lamar Jackson is a bad dude. He's a bad dude. He was the MVP for some reason. He was the MVP. He was no fluke. He was the MVP for some reason. And that was your NFL Week 5 recap. Comment down below uh, your thoughts about you know any game. Comment your thought, thoughts down below. If last night game, Lamar Jackson's performance... Uh, Tom Brady's performance, anything down below, Wilson Wilson being out, what is going to affect the Seahawks. Make sure you subscribe down below to Off the Ball Network for all your sports needs. Check out OffTheBallNetwork.com, articles, podcasts, everything you need, OffTheBallNetwork.com. And follow us on our social media platforms. And I'm going to try not to send no email to the OBOTBN because I don't want to get myself out of like John Gruden. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get fired, he got resigned, but I don't want to get into that trouble here. I'm JP, and we are out of here. Peace.